Hi everyone, I'm here. I'm going to do a video about um, creating a capsule wardrobe or a Project 333 wardrobe with prints and colour. Um, I've noticed that most of the videos on with capsule wardrobes, the people who do them say that they um, really like neutrals and um, they stick to kind of black, grey, white, navy, um, or black and grey and white, <laughs> and denim or whatever. And um, I don't, uh, I don't, I like, I really like bright, I like colour and I like prints. And um, there was, last year when I kind of decluttered my wardrobe, I um, kind of got rid of a, a whole lot of um, printed and colourful pieces that weren't working for me anymore and um, then I started to feel kind of sad and I didn't feel like myself because I had was down to kind of neutrals and it was yeah making me a bit unhappy <laughs> so um, I um, brought a few more prints and stuff in and what I have done to make my a capsule wardrobe work with um, prints and colour I've done two things, two main things. So the first one is I stick to um, prints and colour with my um, tops and with my dresses and with accessories. And then for pants and jackets, I have plain um, colours and neutral, in neutral colours. So block, like, you know, I, no, a non-printed garment, so a block colour in a neutral colour. And for jackets and for bottoms, so pants and skirts. And then for top, well, for tops and skirts, no. For pants, skirts and jackets, I have plain colours. For um, tops and skirt, and dresses, sorry. <laughs> Um, for dresses and, and um, tops, I have both prints and um, plain colours. And for shoes, I have um, print and like color, patterned um, shoes and I have um, plain coloured shoes. So um, I hope that makes sense. For my bags, I have like the bag that I carry pretty much every day is a print printed bag as well. It's... Um, this um, Givenchy Antigona shopping tote, I think it's called, and it's a it's called the floral camo t tote, a floral camo, and I don't know, I just treat it like a neutral. <laughs> so um, I just wear it with whatever I'm wearing, and I don't worry about whether it matches um, perfectly or whatever. And um, so I do that. So I'll show you some examples of what I've done. What of the types of things I'm talking about. So for my bottoms, um, like I just have, I, okay, I'm going to just apologize in advance. I know that it would be a lot better if I was doing um, cutaway shots to me wearing the garments and um, all of that wonderful stuff that other people do, but I just, I'm not going to do it because it just will take me too long to do and I'll never get any videos up if I do, if I start kind of having to import into iMovie and edit and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to talk about stuff, okay? Um, and I'll try and show you stuff, but you're not going to have any amazing, like, editing jobs. Sorry. Um, so for bottoms, um, I have, like, just because I um, am with my kids or whatever, I don't have a formal work environment. I have, like, jeans. I've got these. These are some 501s. Like, I'll have plain kind of basic bottoms like that, um, or I have a pair of, um, these are kind of some chino-y kind of pants, um, and then I have a, just a, um, this is a navy, um, midi length cotton skirt. So this is my spring summer capsule wardrobe that I've been wearing for 
coming up to six months or whatever. So as you can see, like from those three examples, it's very kind of classic pieces in neutral colors. And um, for jackets, I have this, um, this is a kind of, I can put this one on. <laughs> um, this is a kind of, you know, that kind of army jacket-esque thing. So this is another kind of like classic piece in a neutral colour. And or from my winter wardrobe, I have a like a trench coat, which you can't see at all. I suppose I can put this one as well. Who said I don't put clothes on for you? So, you know. It's a very kind of classic piece. So I have those classic pieces for my jackets and um, pants and skirts. So I don't have, like, in before I kind of had a capsule wardrobe, I used to have, like, pants in, like, printed, um, you know, in prints, like crazy prints and stuff. And um, I just kind of cut all of that out. And um, I stick to the... Um, prints for tops and dresses and so and for for some accessories and so um what was I going to say yeah so I have I have those kind of classic pieces for the um jackets and pants and skirts so that they'll work with the kind of um more statement pieces um of the printed tops and, and dresses so um an example would be um this is a um, t-shirt that I have. So this goes with the jeans that I just showed you. It goes with the, the navy skirt and it, it goes with the, um, with the trousers and you know it goes under the jacket as well. So professional. Can't get over how professional this is. Um, you know, so it because it, all of these pieces, the, the jackets and the pants and skirts are all classic and in neutral colours, then um, they all go together. They all go, this top goes with all of them. And so because the prints are only happening on top or with a dress, you don't get into problems where you can't wear the tops with one of the pairs of pants that you have. So, uh, just as an example, I have this skirt, and it's um, a midi, like, full um, midi skirt that's striped, obviously. And this was, for a while, this was the only skirt that I had. No, I have another denim skirt, actually. I only had this one and a denim um, kind of over-the-knee um, straight skirt, and like, fitted kind of skirt. And... Um, I just kept run, like having problems like I, this could only goes with my plain colored t-shirts so like you know this I, I didn't really feel like I could get away with that I mean maybe I could I don't know um, so then um, if like a couple of months ago that's why I got this navy skirt so that it just kind of opened up a whole lot of options for me with um, just having a plain skirt and the other thing that I do is I have um, sort of more statementy um, accessories so I showed you the bag so if I'm just wearing a because um, I do have like a grey mile t-shirt and I have obviously the kind of basic trousers like jeans and basic skirts and stuff and and I have a grey mile t-shirt and for me if I was just wearing a grey mile t-shirt and plain jeans and a plain bag, I would not feel happy. I'd feel kind of, um, like kind of sad, a bit sad because I wouldn't have any um, color on or any prints and stuff. But if I wear um, this bag, then it kind of cheers me up. <laughs> or I have these um, kind of leopard print um, slip on um, sneaker things and um, so I feel a lot better if I introduce prints in that way. 
and um, uh, yeah, so I mean, some people don't like wearing prints and they feel really happy wearing plain colors um, or, you know, getting really wacky with like a stripe or something. But for me, I don't feel happy um, if I'm too plain, like if my clothes are too plain. So yeah, I introduce the prints with the bag or the shoes or whatever, if everything else is plain. And um, the other thing I try to do is I'll try to just have um, maximum of two prints at a time. So um, if I was wearing this t-shirt with a pair of, um, with one of my like plain bottoms, like this skirt or a pair of jeans or whatever, then um, obviously the bag that I carry all the time is this one. And some people would be so just like feel so uncomfortable wearing these at the same time, but I don't, I don't, but I, um, I feel really happy about that. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily wear, <laughs> these people are going to be like, oh my God, that woman is crazy. Who would wear those pants? With... Yeah. Anyway. Um, so if I was wearing these with, um, a pair of jeans and if I was going to wear these shoes with them, <laughs> Um, then I would wear a plain bag. I have some other bags that are kind of small and a plain color. Um, but if, if it was during the day and I was carrying this print, printed bag with this t-shirt, then I would wear these shoes, which are the same. They're from Seed, which is an Australian company. So I have two pairs of shoes with different print. Like, you know, this is a kind of metallic snakeskin plain color. And then these are the leopard print version. So, um, yeah, I just stick to two prints at a time, which some people would just think was mental, but it works for me. And, um, just, oh, the other thing that I do is I try, I have, um, worked out a color palette as well. I've showed it in one of my other videos and I can't find the printout. I don't know what I did with it. I may have decluttered it. Um, but... If you, there's a website called intomind.com and she's got some um, posts on working out your color palette where she says to work out your neutral colors, your um, main colors, and then your accent colors. So my neutral colors are like navy, black, um, and then kind of like, what's this color called? A taupey kind of color. And, um, gray and then my main colors are like green maroon pink or maybe pink is an accent color and um yeah i can't remember all of the colors but basically the other thing that i try to do is make sure that all of my neutrals work together because there are some neutrals that don't kind of work together or some neutrals that um kind of i mean for some people new the word neutral means different things, but to me, like this um, kind of greeny khaki color jacket is a neutral, but um, this color doesn't necessarily work with everything. And um, sometimes, for like for example, um, I have this trench coat, and then I had a pair of tan boots last winter, um, so they were a kind of darker shade like this and they just the the taupe and the um, tan didn't get work together um, so I try to kind of make sure like I was I kept when I'd be trying to get dressed I'd kind of put those boots on with that jacket and that like that um, that trench coat was my my coat for winter because it doesn't get very cold in Sydney and um, it just didn't work with the boots and it would just get me down a bit but the boots have died, so now I have some new boots and some new shoes that um, do work with that jacket. So I made a point of buying something that um, would work with that neutral colour. So, yeah, <laughs> my point is make sure that your neutrals all work together. Um, I'm trying to think if there are other... I mean, most neutrals do work together, but sometimes they um, don't. Like, for example, I was looking at a pair of um trousers in this color 
and um, it just was that was a bit greener, uh, like a, a more of a dark, like yeah, just more green than that jacket, and it just didn't work with a few of the other things I had. I just felt a bit kind of like Christmas tree, a bit like I was dressed up in a Christmas outfit or whatever. So yeah, my other point is to work out what your color scheme is. I probably said that about 50 times, but um, you know, I hope you, I'm just drumming the point in, aren't I? Um, okay, so I think that is about it. I just wanted to kind of say my piece about capsule wardrobes with print and color because it is possible. And I'll link some of the um, Into Mind uh, um, posts below because that I found that really helpful and um, if you have any questions um, post them down below and I hope you found it helpful okay bye black, gray white navy um, or black and gray and white <laughs> and denim or whatever and um, I don't uh, I don't I like I really like bright I like color and I like prints and um, that was last year when I kind of decluttered my wardrobe I um, kind of got rid of a, a whole lot of um, printed and colorful pieces that weren't working for me anymore and um, then I started to feel kind of sad and I didn't feel like myself because I had was down to kind of neutrals and it was yeah making me a bit unhappy <laughs> so um, I um, brought a few more prints and stuff in and what I have done to make pants and jackets I have plain um, colors and neutral in neutral colors so block like you know a, a non-printed garment so a block color in a neutral color and for jackets and for bottoms so pants and skirts and then for top hi everyone i'm here i'm going to do a video about um creating a capsule wardrobe or a project 333 wardrobe with prints and color um i've noticed that most of the videos on with capsule wardrobes the people who do them say that they um really like neutrals and um they stick to kind of black my a capsule wardrobe work with um prints and color I've done two things two main things so the first one is I stick to um, prints and color with my um, tops and with my dresses and with accessories and then for